Hey guys, today I am back with more blind boxes and I was kind of going through the box and there are a lot of random ones and older ones in here so I'm going to try to dig down today and see what I can find. I've been curious about this one. Let's do the grocery gang, I think this is called. My friend from Australia sent this to me. I see something good it's on us. summer themed. It is now winter. How about this Love Live one? Something Disney? I can't believe there's still volume one in here. How about this little hedgehog one? This one's been here for a long time too. That's five, but I think we need to open some up here. So let's do this one. The, what is this one called? The tea time one, I think. Yeah. Which one should we start with? Let's start with the Gudetama one. I remember opening a few of these before, but I don't really remember which ones I got because my memory is horrible. You guys know that, so you guys can remind me or I'll link my video. I actually think I got this one though. It is the little lantern. Oh wow, the chain is coming out. There's a little hole. And it is a little Gudetama paper lantern with a Gudetama face and on the back it says Matsuri, which means festival. You can put the little chain on and make it into a strap. So there's the first one. Next, let's open Mickey's Tea Time. I want the secret one. I want to know what that one is. Yeah, that's what I want. Cross your fingers, guys. All these blind boxes are so old. They don't even sell this at the Disney store anymore. <laughs> I can't tell just by feeling it. What one is this? Oh, is this the Tinkerbell one? Oh, this one's pretty cute, actually. Is this supposed to be a cupcake, a donut hole? I don't know, but it has some green frosting with sprinkles and then some whipped cream or something with Tinkerbell's yellow on top, and it has a wing. That's actually really cute. I like that. Next, let's open this crusty chocolate bar. My friend sent me this and I asked her what these were and she said they're basically girls Shopkins. So let's see what I am in for. Oh wow, it does look like a chocolate bar. It says the grocery gang. And let's open it up. Oh, they're in little blind bags. Are Is this made by the same company that makes Shopkins? The bags look the same. Oh yeah, it's by Moose. So, interesting. So I guess they are gross Shopkins. Let's open these up and then I'll take a look at the list. Oh, they're fuzzy. They're flocked. It's a little pumpkin. Let's open this one. Oh, this one is, oh wow, they're all different. This one's rubbery and stretchy. That's weird. I think this is a ketchup bottle. It looks like it's growing some mold. Ew. <laughs> Let's look at the list. So this one is Bad Soy, I gave him a mustache, and it's common. Oh wow, and this is Puking Pumpkin, and he's ultra rare. Nice. Oh, it says there are three special finishes, moldy groceries, sticky groceries, and metallic groceries. Oh, so this is supposed to be mold. That's weird. And this is a sticky. Interesting, I wish they were all the same finish. As a collector, I kind of like them all to look the same. But anyway, this is a pretty cool series, actually. I like the idea. Next, let's open the Love Live box. Who is in here? They never have Nozomi. I think this box only has these five. And I usually get one of these three. I really want Eddie or Maki, so cross your fingers. Oh, who is it? Oh, 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 it is Hanoka. Let's see how this works. I think the tree goes on here because this is the snow halation one. And how does this stand work? Oh, it goes in here. Oh, and are you supposed to hang it? Is that how it works? Where are the instructions? 
interesting. So you can either make it into a strap with this, or you can hang her from the jump ring, and it's called Purang Koto. Burang, burang is like swing, so it's swinging mascot, purang koto, except I am failing at this. Oh, I know why, because it's supposed to face like this way so it doesn't slide up, up, up. I can't talk, I'm so confused, what am I doing? There we go. So, it can be a little stand figure or strap. I want no zombie! Okay, last one, not last one, two more. Let's open the secret collection. This is series one, so I think they have up to series five or six out right now, so still working on series one. Still waiting for that pink Pascal. The bag's kind of open. Don't peek. Okay. Jum. Oh, Snow White. Do I have Snow White? I think I have Snow White. I don't know, guys. I've opened so many of these. I'm going to do a collection video though, so we can all see what I have, and then you guys can remind me what I have. Finally, we have the Hedgehog, and this series is so cute. There's a video that's been going around on Facebook of a hedgehog sleeping, or just kind of lying there, and the owner, or someone, gives it some food, and it just wakes up, and it <laughs> grabs the food. It's so cute. Okay, which hedgehog is this? So, all these hedgehogs are supposed to sit on the edge of your cup, I believe, and this one is climbing over, <laughs> there's a ridge right there, over the cup. Let's see if I can show you on this box. Like that. <laughs> Look, he has his legs swinging up. That's really adorable. So today I got a hedgehog, Snow White, Honoka. Uh, Tinkerbell, Gudetama, and some groceries. Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening some new blind boxes with you, and I already picked them out because this box is getting empty, so I just went ahead and grabbed some. I have a Secret Collection one, a Pixar one, a Gudetama one who's dressed up like Sanrio characters. Is that not adorable? And then a Sumiko Grashi one, and... A love live one. I'm gonna start with the Tsum Tsum blind box and it is the Pixar versions. So, which one looks cute to you guys? The little winking alien's cute. Again, this is taped down very well. I think I probably bought this at Kitty Land and they tape everything. Oh, I think it's Bullseye. Oh, he's so cute. So, Tsum Tsum has been around for a while, guys, but. I feel like there is always new merch coming out, and I want to know if you guys are still collecting it or not. I still collect the plushes, the cute ones that I like. Not all of them, but I do like the little figures. So here is Winking Bullseye. We'll set him down here. Next, let's go ahead and open the Gudetama Sanrio character mix, it's called. And it's Gudetama dressed up as different characters from Sanrio. I think I want the Pom Pom Pudding one. It's super cute. Oh, the one dress is Cinema Roll, and Batsumata's cute, too. Let me know in the comments down below who your favorite Sanrio character is. Mine is probably Humming Mint. I think Humming Mint is so cute. I wish they'd make more merch. Ta-da! Oh, it is my Melody. I opened one of these a long time ago, and I feel like I got Hello Kitty, so... I have a pair now, kind of. I mean, they're all from Sanrio. So, this is another one of the hanging figures. These seem to be very popular lately. I need to get a lot of cups or something so I can hang them all, but here is Gudetama as my melody hanging from the edge of the box. Next, we have the secret collection, and here are the charms or straps that you can get in this series. I've opened quite a few of these guys. If you want to see the previous ones I've got, check out Magical Blind Boxes that I've uploaded before. And I think I have a few separate videos, but if you check my Blind Box playlist, you can see them all. So I'll leave the link down below. And let's open this up. I really want Bianca because I think The Rescuers is one of the cutest Disney movies and it's so underrated. Ta -da! Oh, it's Genie. Genie's definitely a double. I remember getting Genie. But He's really cute in kind of a simple chibi form. Chibi means tiny, by the way, in case you didn't know. 
we have the, what was it called? The Smikogurashi Gotochi Gourmet, local gourmet mascot. None of these are really local to me, but I do love all of them. Let's open this up. Oh, it's the, um, shaved ice. Why couldn't I remember what it was called? Oh, this is so cute. Now, again, I have opened this series before. I'll link it up here. You can check it out. My memory is horrible. I don't remember which one I got, but this is super cute. It is Shirokuma uh, Polar Bear as the shaved ice. And he has a cherry, a little tapioca pearl, some canned oranges, mandarin oranges, melon, and pineapple. And that is adorable. I would love to remake this as a real shaved ice. Would that not look adorable? It would probably melt while I was trying to shape it. But anyway, here is the ball chain it goes with so you can put it on your bag or anything. And guys, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see my charm collection. I've been meaning to do one, but it's such a pain to organize. But if you guys thumbs this video up, it'll motivate me. So please do that. And let's open the last one. It is Love Live, and it is the Shikishi, which means it is a art board or sign board. And I got this when the merch for Love Live Aqua Sunshine started to come out, so I've had this for a long time, but now it's kind of old merch because I never got around to opening it. And I think we know who we have here, Daya Kurosawa! Daya's one of my favorites. She is so pretty. I first started liking her because I thought she was really, really pretty. But then I really liked her character as well. At first I thought she was going to be annoying and a little bit like Nico, which she is. And I'm sorry to you Nico fans, but Nico's not my favorite character. But I really loved how Daya's character ended up being. And in general, I love the third years, so. Yep, here is Daya. Here's the back is kind of like a washi design. I don't think it is actual washi, but it's meant to look like it. If you guys collect anime merch, let me know what you do with these because I have no clue where to display them. Do you frame them? Do you... I don't know. What do you do with them? Let me know. And that is all for today. So I got Daya, I got Gudetama is my melody, Genie, Bullseye, and Shirokuma! Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a magical blind box video and I haven't done one of these in a while so I'm super duper excited. If you have never seen this series before, please check out my older videos. I open random blind boxes and blind bags and it's so much fun. Anyway, as you can see, I threw in all of my blind boxes and blind bags here, even the Tsum Tsum ones that my friend sent me, and I thought I was going to open them as a series, but now I'm not so sure because the box looks so nice and full, but today we'll do some random ones. I'm going to grab a few of these that are random, that don't really fit in with a the theme that my friend sent me because they have been waiting for me to open these. And I definitely want to. So that is four. Oh, and I have the mini figure world. This one set aside just because it was so big. And this is one that my friend sent me. And it's a blind box. And it's a big figure, I think. That's five. I usually open five or six. I thought we could open a few more today. Let's let's do a reman. I feel like there's a lot of remans in here. Let's do this random box that's not a blind box. How about something Minecraft? I'm gonna avoid the Tsum Tsum stuff for now because I'm not sure if I just want to do a massive Tsum Tsum opening video or what. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below because I'm not sure myself yet. The Sailor Moon one looks tempting, but I did grab a Love Live one. How about some of these Disney Store ones? I haven't opened some of these in a while. I have two of these, so that is ten. Here are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes that I'm gonna be opening today. First, let's start with the one that is not a blind box. I guess, I don't remember what I thought when I got this, if I just thought it was cute or if I actually thought it was a blind box. This is Kyunta from Yokai Watch. Also comes with a piece of gum. This is really old, actually. It was a whole set of Yokai, kind of pastel Yokai with sweets. I'm kind of sad I don't have Komasan eating Whisper ice cream. Here he is up close. He's sitting on a little donut. Is that not adorable? And it's a heart-shaped donut. And Kyunta is holding a little heart, and his eyebrows are hearts, and he is just the cutest little yokai ever. He even has a little heart tail. So there's Kyunta. Next, let's open the Alice in Wonderland blind bag. 
here's the lineup. There are two mystery ones. I really hope I get the White Rabbit or Dinah. I think they're my favorites. Are you ready, guys? Jam! Oh, it is the March Hare, who is still pretty cool. And I think I'm just gonna show you guys here because the lighting was really bad for the other camera. So there is that. That is super cute, though. I love it. Next, we have, what is this called? Chubby Puppy and Friends. And this is a golden doodle, and then this is a blind bag. I've never seen these before, but they are so chubby and cute. Here's Mr. Golden Doodle. I'll show you both at the end. Let's see, is there a lineup? No, there's not. There's probably a paper inside. Are you ready? Jump. Oh, it is a terrier, I think. Oh wait, it might be a collie. Doesn't it kind of look like a Jack Russell terrier? I think I have a collie. And there's a lavender Labrador, is that not cute? Here are the two cuties. They are certainly very chubby. Look at that. And they have cute little faces. I love the, his tongue. Actually, both of them have tongue sticking out. And the tongues are different. That's actually pretty cool. How about we open one of these next? I see dust on it, so it must have been sitting in there for a long time. This is one of the Disney Store Japan straps, and they have a series called Secret Collection. And these are really teeny tiny little strap figures. And you'll see what I mean by tiny. I don't think I have Donald. I think I actually have Daisy. I don't know, guys. I have a really bad memory. I need to go back and watch my own videos. And I'm losing my voice. Okay, as you can see, it's super tiny. Can you tell? It's just a little speck. Please be Donald, please be Donald, please be Donald. Up, oh, it's Daisy, but look it. Is that not super, super tiny? Let's see how close I can get. Is that not teeny tiny? It's smaller than the little phone plug. I got this on sale, so I think it was around $2 or so, but retail, this is 500 yen plus tax. Would you pay that much for this? For this? I don't think so. Even $2 feels a little expensive. Next, let's check out the Lego minifigures. I've opened quite a few of these, I feel like. They were available in Japan. I don't think they ever became super popular, which is sad because they're really cute. Oops, I kind of peeked. Can you tell who it is? Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! I don't think I had Buzz. Let's put them together. They look really, really adorable all lined up. So there is Buzz Lightyear! How about we do this Love Live one? This is from my friend, and I believe it's a double of hers because it's already open, but I have not looked inside, so let's check it out. And it is the Metal Charm set, Trading Metal Charm, and it's version one. I don't know if you guys know, but Nozomi is my girl. So I really, really want Nozomi. Let's cross fingers. I never get Nozomi. I always get Nico Honogarudin every time. And even if I didn't get Nozomi, I would love to get Eddie or Kotori. Usually never get them. <gasps> it's Nozomi! Maybe she sent this to me because it was Nozomi. That could be. Or maybe it was a double. Who knows? This is really cute though. I didn't think it would be this detailed. This is adorable. I love Nozomi so much. And then on the back it has some detail and my fingerprints. Don't steal my fingerprints, guys. Oh, I love this so much. Thank you, Rachel. I know the craze is Love Live Sunshine, but I still love the original Muse members. Okay, next, we have the Mickey's Tea Time blind box set, and this is from the Disney Store Japan as well. They don't sell these anymore. This has been sitting in my box forever. Again, I don't 100% remember which ones I've gotten, but we want the mystery one for sure. I feel like I never know what the mystery one is. Also, my friend said Ariel looks like she's been through the blender. We don't know what she's supposed to be, like maybe a raindrop cake? Like, that's a donut, that's a cupcake, that's like a cake pop. Cupcake, maybe cake pop, cupcake. Mike's like a cake pop, and that's obviously a cupcake by the silhouette. But we don't know what Ariel's supposed to be. What do you guys think? Is there a kind of dessert or sweet that looks like that? Maybe she's supposed to be a cake pop too, who knows. I was gonna say it feels round, but all of these feel round. Okay, let's check it out. Jen! Oh, blender Ariel. It's super sparkly on the inside. Can you guys see that? Two more to go and then we'll open the, what is it called? Mini figure series. How many of you guys still play Minecraft? I know that Minecraft videos on YouTube were super popular for a while. 
I never really watched the videos, but I did play Minecraft last year, maybe the year before, quite, quite seriously. I was quite obsessed. Okay. Oh wait, maybe we should look at the lineup. I definitely want Pig in a minecart. That's so cute. The others are okay. I want Pig in a minecart. You ready? Let's peek. Ta -da! You know what that looks like? A villager. I think the villagers look so funny. They're really cute. This is a blacksmith villager, so he's getting some work done. Second to the last, we have Dirakuma's Cake Shop. And I've opened quite a few of these. So let's see what we get today. Do 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 Cake box. Oh, cream puffs! I don't think you guys are ready for this cuteness. Here we go. Oops, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. So here's the little basket tray. And then here are the three cream puffs. Rirakuma, Kiroi Tori, over here. And Korirakuma. Did you know that Kiroi Tori literally means yellow bird? So of course these go on here and they can be served like this to your dolls or toys, you know, just put on display. Or they can be to go. And it came with this little freezer ice pack, whatever you want to call it. And the little cream puffs can go in here. I love that it comes with a little to-go box. That is adorable. All right then, guys. It is time for the main event. Here are the... let's see... 12? Wait, there's more than 12. The different ones I can get. There's a Donald. And then, there's quite a few stitches. There is a pirate ghost stitch. Ouch. There is Elvis stitch, who's one of my favorite stitches. Let me get a little bit closer. There is Tiki stitch? I don't know what he's supposed to be. There's a mystery one. Mystery ones are always exciting. Let's look at this side again. I kind of like Tigger. Tigger would never come up in a list of my favorite characters, but he's, you know, one of those characters that I've loved since I was little, so he's like a secret favorite. Not that I'm ashamed of him or anything. So yeah, Donald, Elvis, Stitcher, Tigger would actually be cool. Let's open it up. I'm so nervous. I have a few of these figures um, that aren't blind boxes. I have a few Donalds and I actually haven't opened them up yet. So if you want to see an unboxing of that, let me know. <laughs> this is not the way to open it. I'm gonna take my scissors and cut it. My friend has been eagerly waiting for me to open this, and I've been really tempted to open it a few times too. But I'm glad I waited and we can all open it together. Okay, so this is a decently sized figure. Cut this. Okay, are we all ready? Let's do this. Ta da! <laughs> Pooh bear. Silly old bear. This Pooh is actually really cute though. He's wearing his B shirt, he's holding a pot of honey, and it's very yellow. And I'm surprised at how kind of heavy and sturdy this figure is. I thought it would be more of a light figure, but I don't know if you guys can tell, it's a really heavy figure. This is super cute. I don't think I've ever seen mini figure world stuff here in Japan. I'll have to look into this series because the Donald figures I own are super cute too. So thank you so much, Courtney. This was so much fun to open. I don't think I've ever opened a blind box like this before. So we have poop, some chubby puppies. Kinda like Chubby Bunny, except you don't want to put these in your mouth. Kyunta, March Hare, Buzz Lightyear! I think that's the only way I can say Buzz Lightyear. I can't say it like a normal person. Blacksmith Villager, Blender Ariel, Cream Puffs, no, I'm not taking out of the box, and teeny, teeny, tiny Daisy. I mean, look at that compared to the other guys. These aren't huge figures either. <laughs> look at that. And my favorite, probably, of this batch, Nozomi! Hey guys, today I have a very special magical blind box. First of all, because I have some new blind boxes to open. Second of all, this is going to be a collab with my friend Meibu. You can check her channel out. She has a series called Meibu's Mystery Mayhem, which is very similar to Magical Blind Box. So if you guys like these videos, you should definitely check her out. She introduces lots of cute toys, anime toys, and Pokemon cards, and cool stuff like that. So in my video, I'm going to be opening these blind boxes, and in her video, I'm going to be opening these guys. Lots of anime stuff, and I hope you guys will check out her video to see what I got. Anyway, I'm going to start this video off by opening the Sailor Moon blind box that you guys have been asking for. I believe this has a little coaster and a little mascot, one of the cup 
perching ones. I love Sailor Neptune and I actually really like Sailor Saturn. So I think I'm going to be happy with anything I get. How am I supposed to open this? Is there a pull tab or am I just supposed to rip it open? Let's rip it open. Here we go. Here is the coaster. Oh, and the charm. Oh, it's Neptune! Yes! So the coaster is just kind of a thick paper. I thought maybe it would be a little more sturdy or I don't know, but that's what it is. It is super cute. So if you want to keep this safe though, you probably don't want to use it with drinks. And then the important part, the little figure. Oh, this is adorable. I have seen these at the anime store. They had card captor Sakura and a few other animes I wasn't familiar with, but here she is. She is adorable. And I think she perches on the edge of the cup right there. I don't have a cup right now, but I think it's something like that. Never mind. <laughs> so that was my first one. Now let's see what Maeve has for us. Hi everyone, so I'm Maeve, also known as Maeve here on YouTube. So today I'm going to be opening up these three blind box items. So I think I'll start off with the jungle in my pocket. This is a series one collectible figure and all the ones on the back are really, really cute. I've never opened up one of these before, so I don't know who I want from this one. They all seem super adorable. So let's open it up and see who I got. Let's see out oh we got a crocodile is it oh my gosh it's so cute and it's actually like a furry sort of texture oh this is cute okay so let's have a look at the checklist there is an ultra rare pet which is a white tiger and then you can also collect these little items so this is Apollo the crocodile and he is really really cute and he's kind of fuzzy and his tail moves a little bit as well so all of these are so cute there's also some rare jungle pets so here is the first blind box item which is Apollo the crocodile Welcome back guys, I have the newest Disney Store blind box here, it is called a secret strap as they always call them. It is a Uhufi blind box and Uhufi is their new line of little plushes. I think they're trying maybe not to replace Tsum Tsums but make something similar to it. So they have different characters, they're little tiny little plushes. I actually have the smallest size here, Donald and Daisy, they were selling these as a set. I think it was a thousand yen for two. I think the M size is actually the standard ones though, I just love the tiny ones so much. But yeah, I think the M size is the standard, I don't know. But anyway, here's the S size. And they made a blind box to go with it. So of course I want Donald because Donald Duck is my favorite, but as you can see they're all super adorable. There's some background story behind these, they're made from clouds, born from clouds, cotton candy, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's check this out. I don't think feeling it is going to help because they're probably all going to be the same. Please be Donald! Did him! <gasps> Guys! I actually got three of these total, so they're my magical blind box. You'll be seeing them in the future, I'm sure. But, can you believe it? The first one I got is Donald. Look at how cute and chubby he is. Oh wow, I really feel the need for the full set now. Okay then, that was my second one. Let's go back to Mebu. So moving on to the next blind box, this is a Toosies and these come with little uh, babies and also little animals. I think this series is so cute so let's open this up. I didn't bring any scissors which makes this a little bit difficult <laughs> but I'll try my best to open it. Okay, got it. I think series 2 has just come out in the US so I hope I can find them here in Australia soon. Let's try and open this here. Okay, so there are two little blind box, one with a baby and one with a baby animal. So here is the background, which is really cute, this little blue hearts, and the checklist is here as well. So I'll show you guys the checklist. And there's too adventurous, too noisy, too cool, oh well, there's a lot of them, too cheeky, there's a limited edition, and too sweet, too wild, and too cool. I think I already said that one. <laughs> so let's open up the baby first and not all of them are matching sets so I hope I get a matching one but it might be a little bit unlikely. So let's see who's in here. Oh it's a little rabbit. This one is so cute. I haven't got this one before so I'm glad I got this one and the paint job is not too bad on it so it is pretty cute. Here is the little baby animal and let's see who it is. Oh it is a matching set. Oh my gosh that's so lucky. So we have a little rabbit and a little rabbit baby 
And let's see who this one is here. I think we have Tosca and Twitchy. Oh, they're so cute. And they also come with a little uh, peg stand in the bottom here. So you can sit them in the box. Here is little baby Tosca and Twitchy. Welcome back. And here are the newest. I'm really excited today because I got a lot of new stuff to open. The newest chocolate eggs. And this is from the Sun and Moon series. So it has the new starters in here. It also has Sylvie, not Sylveon, Leafeon, and Glaceon. I actually wasn't sure if I wanted to get a full box of these or not. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if I should, or what do you think? Here's the first one. You know what would be amazing is if I got Leafeon, because Leafeon's my favorite evolution. I like Sylveon, but I don't know, I just think Leafeon's super cute. And Glaceon, that would be amazing. Actually, one of the new starters would be really cool too. Poplio, yes please. Dun -dun. Whoa. I know this one. I should know its name too. I've actually been playing the Pokemon trading card game online and <laughs> I use this card a lot. <laughs> Why can't I remember his name? Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is the Japanese name. Is it the same in English? Is it poly Polygon? Here's the lineup. It looks pretty cool this time. The new starters. A lot of cute ones. Ditto, Pikachu. I feel like they always include a Pikachu. Da -dum. How does that look, guys? The quality is always great with these chocolate egg figures. Considering you get a lot of chocolate, and this is what, I think $2 here in Japan? So it's not horribly expensive for what you get. This is gonna be the last one for me today. Cross your fingers, guys. Let's hope we get lucky. Please be Leafeon. At least it is still cold out and this chocolate is not melting all over me. Let's open this. I'm nervous. Oh, it is Litten or Nyabi. I like the Japanese name Nyabi because it reminds me of Abby and Nya is what cats say here. Like meow, they say Nya, so Nyabi. I just thought it was kind of cute. Well, now that I have one of the starters, I really feel the need to collect the rest. What do you guys think? Here are my two little chocolate egg figures. This one's the winner, definitely. Though, this guy needs some love too. Anyway, let's see what Meivu has for us. Now onto the last blind box item. This is a Num Num Series 1 Lights. These are really cute. I love that they light up. So let's see who there is in here. There also comes an instruction booklet about the uh, batteries, I think. And here is the checklist. So let's see. I think I've only opened up one of these before, so I don't think I'm going to get a double. Hopefully I won't. But here are all the Num Nums lights. So let's open up this one and have a look. Let's see who we got. Ooh, this one is pink. Ooh, it's so pretty. Let me see. Okay. So who do we have here? Let's try and find it. I think this is a gummy num, and it is number 17 cherry gummy. And let's take out the num underneath. Let's see if I can get it out. So this is also a pink num, which is really cute. Uh, let's see who this one is. It looks like this might be Raspberry Light Up. So let's pull out the tab and see how it works. So look how cute this is. So she flashes different colors. And you can just turn it on and off by pressing the bow. So then we can put the num on top. And how cute is that? It flashes. So here is the final blind box item, which is a Light Up Num Num. How was that collab, guys? What did you think? I thought this was such a cute idea, and let's see. Here are the guys I got today. Very tiny little charms today. I like it, they all kind of match. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this collab, and please don't forget to check out Meibu's channel, subscribe to her, and watch her video too, because you'll get to see the other blind boxes, blind bags that I opened, along with the ones that she opened. Hey guys, today is going to be a magical blind box video. We haven't done one of these in a while and it has been highly requested. So here is my box of blind boxes. Now I haven't really added too much to it recently. There's still quite a bit in here though. So how about this Pixar one? I've been curious about this one. I received this from a friend. 
And then we have the Your Name Kimi no Nawa blind bag. And how about a Num Nom? There's a Tsum Tsum blind bag. If you guys haven't watched my Tsum Tsum Week videos, please check them out. It was a really fun week of opening a bunch of Tsum Tsum themed toys and sharing my collection with you guys. So I'll leave the link down below for that. And let's see, that's one, two, three, four. How about a My Little Pony? And looks like there's a bunch of remints in here, but I don't know. What do I feel like opening? If you guys see anything in here that you'd like me to open in future videos, let me know because I don't know what I want to open. How about... Do we have something Disney themed? How about this Finding Dory blind bag? This was also from a friend and let's see, how many is that? That's six, but how about we do two happy places and make it eight? Alrighty then, here's today's lineup. What should we start with? Let's start with the Tsum Tsum one. It's my first time checking out this series. It looks like they are little Tsums with keychains and it is by A1 Toys. Of course you guys know I am obsessed with Donald Duck, so cross your fingers for Donald and let's open it up. Okay, let's see if I can pull them out here. Oh, it's yellow. I think yellow is Pooh, right? Pooh's the only yellow. Here's Pooh. He is really well made. He's heavier than the Jack Pacific Tums, and the strap is really cute. I could definitely see him on one of my Disney bags. So there's Pooh. If you guys have ever checked out this series, let me know which ones you got. If you happen to get Donald, tag me in a photo on Instagram or Twitter. I'm Studio Lorian on both. Next, let's open the Kimi no Nawa blind bag. I found this in my supermarket. It was on sale. They actually still have a huge stock of them. I think I got it for 125 yen and now they're on sale for 100 yen so I don't think people really want these. It's funny because this anime was super super popular. I don't know if they're still playing it in theaters but it's been going on for like a year and now it's hit like English speaking countries and other foreign countries so apparently it's really popular. I saw it when it first came out and I thought it was good but just like Frozen I thought it was kind of hyped up but if you haven't seen it it's definitely worth checking out. Oh, there's a piece of gum, of course, and, oh wow, it is a metallic card, super shiny. This is when she cuts her hair, right? So I think it's an actual postcard, though. I think you can probably write an address there and send it. So that's cool. For 125 yen, I'd say that's reasonable. I actually have another one of these in my magical blind box, so I'll probably open it up next time. Next, let's open the Toy Story blind bag, and these are so cute. If they look like the images on the packaging here, it's gonna be adorable. So, who do I want? I want the little green alien, Bullseye, or Rex. I really like the animal kind of companion characters. Oh, there's, um, Ham, too. It says new for 2016, and I received these last year. I'd never seen these before, so I really like opening ones that I have never seen. Oh, you can see who it is. It's Ham! Oh wow, he even has his little piggy bank stopper on the bottom. Oh, the expression is so cute. With this face though, he doesn't really look like ham. Like, he just looks like a cute pig. Next, let's open the My Little Pony blind bag. What series is this? I don't know what series it is, but look at that packaging. It is so cute. I think it's one of the newer ones. My friend sent it to me pretty recently. Cha -cha! Ooh, pink and yellow. It's like Fluttershy, but opposite. This is Junebug. She loves to celebrate. The name sounds kind of familiar. Did I get a Junebug previously? Here's the lineup. Fluttershy and Sunny Rays look very similar. And there's another one that looks like Fluttershy. What's the name? Flippity Flop. The pink and yellow combination is popular, I guess. I tried painting some of my My Little Pony figures a while ago, sometime last year, and it was so much fun. I didn't ever finish up completing it, like painting on the eyes and stuff, because you guys know me, I'm horrible at finishing projects. But it was a lot of fun, so if you guys have tried painting figures, let me know. Continuing on, let's open up Finding Dory, and there's actually a little peephole here, and I can kind of see who it is, but let's open it up and check it out. I will admit that I have not seen Finding Dory yet. I kind of let the time fly by when it was out in theaters, and... Now I need to rent it. Oh, this is interesting. It is by Bandai, which is a Japanese toy company, but this is a US, yeah, a US, or maybe it's Australia. I'm sorry, friends. I cannot remember who sent this to me, but I remember that I received this. So it's a Japanese toy from either America or Australia, or maybe Canada. I'll have to look back at my package opening videos. Anyway, here is, who is this? 
Sea Otter. So his name's just Sea Otter. I have seen this character in the trailer and they're super cute. They look so soft and fluffy. Next, let's check out the Num Noms. I keep repeating myself, but again, this was a gift. All the US based ones are gifts because they're impossible to find here. But this is Num Nom Series 3.1 and um, I kind of really like how Num Noms look. I know that they're not super practical, but they are adorable. Okay. Ooh, I see something yellow or is that green? Oh, it's a fruity nom. Look at it. This is splits on top. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but look at that expression. How can you not love that? Okay, I get it. It comes out the top. Okay, that's weird. I feel like I'm gonna rip it. I wish it came out the bottom. Okay, that's a struggle. I don't know if I like that. So here is the num and nom, I think. That sounds right. Ta-da! Oh, that is super cute. I think it's a lip gloss, maybe? Here, put this one down and open this one up. Yeah, it's a two-tone, I'm assuming, lip gloss. It smells like cherries and chocolate. They have veggie noms! Noms. Okay, wait, noms. Noms. Okay, yeah, so the little ones are noms. I am so confused. But what are you? Oh, you are Zane Zest! Can you see? Focus camera. Zane Zest. Oh my goodness, this lineup is so, so cute. I'm so glad I have more of these to open. I hope I get some veggie noms. And that leaves these two. Let's open them up. I love the Happy Places Shopkins. Here's the first one, and I received these from my friend in Australia. I remember that. And I have some Happy Places opening videos already up, so if you want to check them out, leave the links down below. Down below, down below, which way's below? I don't know. And here is a pink tile. I've said this before, but when you guys told me the tiles, you can tell which room they're from if you know. But I don't. So, let's check this out. Whatever is in the top bag is super small. It is a lipstick. Oh, is this a mirror? I think so, it's pretty shiny. Oh, I love the Petkins so much. I know that there's a Series 2 out now, and I don't know what any of them look like, so I should check out some videos on them. Ooh, oh, it's a makeup case. That is adorable. Do you open? You do. Okay, so I can put the lipstick in here and not lose it. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I think I like things with cute faces. I really like food with cute faces. Alrighty, last one for today. Oh, it's a different colored tile. It is a yellow tile. And here are the Shopkins. Make sure I don't cut the little Shopkin. Come on out. Oh, what are you? What is that? I don't know. I'm gonna set it down and we'll try to figure out what it is. Oh wow, there's multiple pieces in here. Ooh, what are you? Interesting that they put these in little plastic holders. So it looks like it is a dustpan and broom. I think the broom can go on here. That's cute. I still don't understand what this little piece is though. Maybe this last piece will give us a hint. If not, I'll look at the checklist. What is this? Oh, is it kindling? Is it wood for like a fireplace? That's sad that there's only one piece. I remember last time I missed some pieces and you guys were telling me to check the bag. I'm so glad you guys told me because I did find a tiny, tiny piece. But it looks like there's nothing this time. So it looks like this is the set. I'm assuming that's what it is. It is a wood holder and there is a wood block one and two. That's interesting. And this one's yellow, so. Did I get a differently colored one? Do they have variants? I don't know, you guys have to tell me. You guys know so much more about Shopkins than I do. So that was the second set I got. Here's the first set. I can't wait to open the others. I'm so tempted to open them all right now, but I will, I will wait till next time. But hopefully next time won't be too long from now because I wanna make more of these. I wanna open lots of line boxes. Here's my num, and I dropped my nom, so you guys saw it earlier. <laughs> Sea Otter. Ah, Junebug. I couldn't remember the name for a second. I am so bad at remembering names. We have Ham. Evil Dr. Porkchop. 
and Pooh Bear. Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening some blind boxes and blind bags that I'm going to pull out of the magical blind box here. Let's see. There are a few that I've already pre-picked out. I just got this recently. I posted a picture on my Instagram, which you guys should follow. So I'm going to open this. And then there was one I received as a gift. I want to open this one up. It's holiday themed, but it's Donald. And then you guys have been requesting some Pudi Pada stuff. So I didn't get a full set, but I did get a few of these. So let's open these. And then here is a gacha that I got from the My Hama Station uh, gacha vending machine. We did a video on that too if you're interested. And let's do one more. What should we do? There are a lot of Disney ones in here. There's some Aikatsu. We'll do those next time maybe. Ooh, I see some Shopkins Num Noms. Oh, how about this Toy Story one? This one looks cute. Let's go ahead and open the Pudi Pala ones first. This is the Pudi Pala Jewel Gum, Volume 2. So I've actually never opened these before. I'm not familiar with the gems. I know that they have something to do with the arcade game, of course, and the little microphone toy. So I am sad to say that I'm not caught up in the anime, but you guys have been requesting Pudi Pala stuff a lot. So while I am caught up in Aikatsu Stars, I think I need to have a binge watch for these. Okay, so, oh, it comes with a Tomochike too. Oh, it's Megane. I love Megane. I guess I'm supposed to hide the barcode, aren't I? So here's Megane. She's super pretty. Oh, wow. So seeing these cards kind of makes me want to play again. And then here is the little gem or jewel, I guess they call it. So there's a barcode on the back here. So I'm assuming you scan this and I don't know what this is supposed to do, but it reminds me of the little pretty rhythm chips, the chords. Weren't they on little stones like this? That seems familiar. I need to read up on the gameplay, I guess. So here is the lineup of the ones that come in this set. So there are two SRs, but I'm super excited I got Megane because she's my favorite. Oh, I love Cosmo too. Let's go ahead and open the other one. We have Cha -cha! Dorothy. And then the Tomochike is Dorothy as well. It looks like they're wearing the same outfit. So that's cute if you like to have a matching. I do. I really like to have my whole team matching. And it looks kind of weird when they're all wearing the exact same clothes, but who cares? So there's this jewel and this jewel. And then these are just the gummies with the cards. I think this is the newest wave, volume 12. And I think I got five of these, but I only saw two in the box. So we'll open the rest next time. It looks like there are two secret cards and four SRs. So let's hope we get the SR. Ta -da! Here's the gummy. What flavor is this? It is peach. These gummies are so yummy, by the way. And then, yes, it's the SR and it is, is this Sophie? Oh, it's so pretty. It's marionette Mew. And these are the shoes. So I grabbed these in order, but I think we found out that the Pudi Pada ones don't necessarily come in order, nor do you get the full set if you buy a full box. I didn't even get a full box this time, so. Oh, it looks different. Oh, it's Aroma. No, it's Huari. It's Huari, John. I'm so confused. So this is, what is this? It's a ribbon accessory. So it goes on the dress, it looks like. Those are the two I got today. I have a few more in the box, so hopefully we'll fish them out next time. But for those of you that were requesting Pudi Pada stuff, I hope this helps a little. I know it's not a full set, but I haven't been hardcore collecting lately, so I just thought I'd get a few and could see what was out there. Now on to the blind boxes. Let's open the Toy Story one. And if I remember correctly last time, yeah, he's still sitting here on my table. I got ham. So I'm gonna feel this a little. I can't guess though. I'm horrible at guessing. Let's just open it up. Can you guys see? Oh, it's green. Is it Rex? I bet it's Rex. Oh, he's so cute. Look at that. He's in a little chibi form. That is adorable. It's his chubby legs and his tiny arms. I love that. Okay, these are adorable. I may need to try to find more of these because I kind of want the whole set now. Let's open his Vinylmation. It is a... What is it? I guess it's just called Happy Holiday, but this Donald is super rare. It's 1 out of 10 and this is 9 out of 10. So. Of course we want the rare one, but even just getting this Donald is going to be awesome. And like I said, this was a gift, so I'm super excited. 
haven't opened a Vinylmation in a while. These are so cool and they're so well made. I love the different designs. Oh, can you guys tell? Is that normal, Donald? Ja -ja. It is, but look at how cute he is and look at how angry he is. And look at this, the design is so cute. He's wearing a warm hat and the little ears are snowflakes. These are just amazing. This is from the Gacha vending machine and it is Disney themed because it's from Tokyo Disney Resort. Well, the train station near Tokyo Disney Resort. And this is the sleeping characters. And I must say that I feel like I collected the whole series except for like mini or something. I remember kind of seeing them as I sorted through my collection the other day, but here is Marie. I definitely have Marie, but look at how cute she is. In my previous gotcha video, I got a sleeping Litten. Do I have it here? And are they not cute? Just sleeping animals and cute characters in general are awesome. Actually, they look really cute together, Marie and Litten. I love that. Finally, we are on the last one and I'm so excited to open this one. I actually went into the craft store or hobby store to buy, well, to buy these for crafting. I needed a new pincette. I walked out with this because why not? And the lineup is so adorable. Now, I was really tempted to buy a full set of these, but it's just so much my melody, if you know what I mean. And all lined up, it would just have been kind of overwhelming. So I got one and I may buy a few more, but we'll see. I feel like I'm really rambly today. Sorry about that. I really wanted the pizza. This is not the pizza, but it looks adorable. Let's take a look at this. So here's a little plate with Sleeping My Melody. And this is kind of like the chubby design. I don't know what they actually call the pocha. So like chubby. And here is My Melody. She is so cute, look at that. She is super chubby and round. And then there's like a little piece of whipped cream here. And I think she can stand on that. So that's really cool that she can stand. And then here is the cupcake. I used to have a My Melody Remint set, but I think I gave it to my friend. It kind of reminds me of this. It was a sweet set. It seems that the food itself isn't heavily My Melody themed, but each set comes with the My Melodies. Anyway, that is all for today, right? I got everything. So have the My Melody, Rex, Marie, Donald, and then of course, my Pretty Pada goodies. So I may need to go check out the arcade game. I know they've renewed it quite a bit. So if any of you are playing or are on top of the system, let me know what has changed and what I should, what I need to know because I'm about two seasons behind on the anime as well. Hey guys, welcome to Lorian's Toy Box. Today I'm going to be doing a magical blind box video. And if you've seen my previous hauls, you'll know that I have a few new things to open. So I'm gonna grab one of the new ones, the Mickey, Mickey, Mickey secret strap. Let's do one of those. Let's do one of the Avengers ones because I'm curious. And I said we'd do the Aikatsu ones today, so let me grab those out. What else do we have in here? We have some Pudi Pada, but let's save those till next time. How about a Num Num? And, ooh, we have a Uhufi blind box. So let's open one of those. How about this pom pom pudding remand? This has been in here a long time. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's good for today. Maybe we'll do one of these. A chubby puppy. Here is today's lineup. We have a lot of fun ones to open. Let's start with the Ufufi strap. For those of you that don't know, Ufufi are the new kind of tsum tsums that the Disney store is trying to sell and they are little fluffy plushes, and this is the strap version, the blind box version. So, last time I got two Donalds, I believe. The last time I opened it was when I collaborated with Mevu. So, I haven't opened one of these in a while. And if you wanna see that video from when I collabed with Mevu, I'll leave it in the links down below, and you can check it out. But anyway, so, there are eight characters, and I'm pretty sure I got two Donalds. So, I hope this isn't a Donald, even though Donald is my favorite character. Ta -da! Oh, it's Marie. Oh, this is so cute. She's so chubby. These look just like the plushes. The plushes are so soft and they smell good too, but I don't think the straps smell like anything. Here's Marie. I'm sad to say these are not being sold anymore. They sold out pretty quickly, so. I haven't seen them on the website or in any Disney stores, so 
Unfortunately, I won't be able to complete the set. It would have been fun to have Stitch, but I have Donald and Marie. Next, let's check out the chubby puppies and friends. I have a husky on this side, and then this side is the mystery. And I received this from a friend, so this is something that I can't find here in Japan, so I'm really excited to open it. Let's open the husky side first. These are so cute. Last time, I think I got a collie. So here's a little husky. There's a wajabi. And now the mystery side. Ja -ja. Ooh, this guy looks kind of like a terrier. Is there a list or something? I got, oh, wait, the beagle? No, I think I got the bulldog. I think I got the bulldog. I don't know if he looks like a bulldog, but he's adorable. Oh, and look at the golden doodle. I love golden doodles. They're so cute. Next, let's check out the I Got to Stars gummies, and there should be two cards in here, and hopefully we'll get something rare. It looks like these are all exclusive to the gummy set, so I think we'll be seeing something new. The gummies are great flavor. These gummies always taste really good, and they smell good too. And the card is... Ta -da! Ooh, it's called the Orange Marching Top, and there's Yuzu Senpai. I love how sparkly the card is, can you guys tell? And then on the back here, this is cool, I've never seen this before, you can get an eye color. And I feel like they've never added these to the gummy cards before, so this is new. I should go play the game and see how it works. I really like the top Yume John's wearing. And this is the new character. She is so gorgeous. I'm a little behind on the anime. I did catch up on the previous season, so I need to start watching again. I think her name's Elza? Elsa, it's not Elsa, it's Elza, I think. But anyway, she is gorgeous. More gummies! And another, ooh, purple eyes! And, oh, it's Lily! And her skirt, is this her uniform? It's called the Ruang Marching Skirt. Oh, so, I don't think it's her uniform, but it's, the different design of this, it looks like. That's really pretty. I love Lily. She's one of my favorite characters. So that ends our Aikatsu opening for today. If you want to see more Aikatsu stuff, let me know. I'm never sure if I should do whole videos or not because I don't know if you guys like them or not, so let me know. And now I'm going to open this Num Num. This is from series 3.1. And I received this from a friend because we don't have num noms here. There's so many fun blind boxes and blind bags that we don't have. Okay, here we go. Here is the blind bag. We'll look at the list later. Let's see who's in here. Hey, shop. Oop, it's green. Oh, this guy looks kind of familiar. I think I got him last time. Can you believe that? Doubles? And now I know this opens from the top. Before I wasn't sure how it worked. I'm not sure if I like this design though. It's a little complicated. There we go, I think I got it. So here is the num and here is the nom. It's a little lip gloss it looks like, a little orange one. And this guy looks like a fruit. So let's look at the list. I got Zane Zest, and I'm pretty sure I got this one last time too. And I got Orange Pina Gloss Up. Look at all these cute ones. I just want all of them. They're so cute. Why don't we check out the Avenger strap next? It looks like this is kind of a anime chibi design. So I think they're gonna be cute. Here is the lineup focus camera. I would really like Captain America, Iron Man, or Black Widow, I think. Hulk's kind of cute too, actually. Let me know which one you would pick. Who is your favorite Avenger? Let's see here. Oh, <laughs> it's not very hidden. Let's flip it over. Cha -cha it's Captain America! <laughs> He's adorable. For the longest time, I resisted collecting rubber straps because I don't really put these on my bag because they just fall off because I'm very rough with my 
bag, but um, lately, especially in the past year, I've collected more and more of these guys, and they're so adorable. I think I want to make maybe a board and put them all up on display. I don't know, what do you guys think? I do have another one of these in the Magical Blind box, so we'll see who I get next time. Let's open the Pum Pum Pudding one. This one is pretty cool too, actually. So it looks like it is, what is it called? Puma Puma Cafe. So it's a cafe series. You guys see those pancakes look really cute. And then on this side we have some desserts and some different foods. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see who we get. Doo -doo. Oh, which one is this? Oh, it's the pancake set. Lots of little pieces. Let's start with the plate. There's a pom pom pudding design. And we'll put the first pancake down. I wish I could make cute pancakes like this. My dad used to make me Mickey Mouse pancakes. So there's pom pom pudding. And then, I can never remember his little friend's name. I think this is Scone or is it Muffin? So he holds the little tiny pancake. And then here is a tiny plate. And let's see if I got this right. The little pudding, the pudding pudding. Pum pum pudding pudding <laughs> goes on the plate like that. And then there is a little cup or plant holder. And this little plant goes in it. I think you can actually get this cup when you go to the pum pum pudding cafe. I know there's one in Harajuku and one in Osaka and one in Yokohama too. I've been to the Harajuku one and the uh, Yokohama one. And then there is a little fork and it has pum pum pudding on the handle. Can you see that? And a little knife. So this set is a complete, oops, set. This set is a complete set. That made a lot of sense. But yeah, there it is. Oh, this is so cute. And last but not least, I'm so excited to open this. I am so excited to open this. It is a lunchbox themed blind box series from the uh, Disney store here in Japan. And rice ball, hamburger, rice ball, egg, I think. And then uh, Takosan wiener, goofy, rice ball. I'm assuming that's a rice ball with like a leaf. And then hamburger. So, of course, I want Donald because he's my favorite, but I also really want the Stitch Burger because I think it looks adorable. And let's see, did I pick up three of these total? So I have a few chances, but today we'll see what I get. These always come in a silver baggie, so it's double packaged. Cross your fingers, guys. You ready? Ta da! Oh. <laughs> it's still cute. It's still cute. It's the Mickey Onigiri rice ball. And the rice is textured. That's really cool. And then the rest is made to look like seaweed. Oh, this is cute. I feel like there used to be a remint like this, but I'm not sure. Might have been a different little playset, but here is the Mickey Onigiri. It is. Okay, it's pretty cute. So I got this today. I got the Pom Pom Pudding Remint. I got a chubby puppy. I got two chubby puppies. Where's the other one? Two chubby puppies. Little Marie, a num nom. Here's the num. Here is the not num nom. I always get them confused. Captain America. Two cards, Jojo. I'm so happy with this one. I hope I can get the rest of the outfit. I may go out and buy a few more. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And let me know what was your favorite from the different toys I got today. Mine? Mine's probably the Pom Pom Pudding Remit. I just really love how cute it is and all the detail it comes with. Hey guys, it's been a while since I have filmed a Magical Blind Box video, but do not worry, it is still alive and well, and I have seen you guys requesting it. So in 2019, Magical Blind Box will be a thing, and I've actually kept it quite full. I picked up gachas here and there, and I just kind of chucked them in there, and these kunuts have been a thing. I found some on sale and stuff, so we have some of those. I want to open my blind box from Tokyo Disney. So I'm gonna grab one of those. I got a bunch of these Pokemon stickers at the Pokemon Center last time I went. I think I got five, so why don't we open two today? And, oh, let's grab a gotcha. Some of these I kinda know what they are, some of them I have no clue. Oh, these erasers! I've been a huge fan of these lately. I got some Rilakkuma ones that I kinda opened on my own, and then I saw some Smikogurashi ones that I didn't get, but I got a panda one. I think I have a few in here. Let's open one of these today. And I guess we should open some of these Kunuts. So let's do a Disney one and maybe a Pokemon one. How does that sound? Normally I would say that's good, but there was one that caught my eye. 
Oh no, there's a candy one in here. That should probably be opened up. Maybe we'll do that next time. Oh, here's what I wanted to open. It's from last New Year's, 2018 New Year's. So let's open that now. And I think that's good for today. Alrighty, so here's what we're gonna be opening today. Why don't we start with the New Year's bag from last year? See, this is why I need to do a blind bag clean out at the end of the year. I can't even get it open. Apparently it was 278 yen. I went ahead and cut it open. I don't even remember what these were. I think they're little metal charms. Oh, I think they are the little cut of duck cards, right? Oh, it's Mickey. I think I do remember this from last year. These are cute. And it doesn't especially say 2018 or anything on it, so still good for this year. It says Mickey Mouse on the back. Let's open this eraser next. It's Mochi Panda. Mochi Mochi Panda is the character name, and it was 120 yen, so about $1.20. It says open here. I don't even know what designs they had, so we are going to be surprised together. Da -da! Oh, it's cute. It's an orange eraser. I bet. Oh, it's pudding. Pudding pong. Wait, that's cute. Are these all going to have bears on them? It smells like pudding, guys. It smells like an eggy custard with a little bit of the caramelly burnt smell. Wait, that smells so good. Actually, it says it smells like caramel on the side here, but it totally does. Look at the little pudding pong. Wait, these are so cute. And Japanese erasers. I say Japanese because I've only used Japanese and American erasers, but Japanese erasers are so good. They work so well. Okay, moving on. Let's open the Disney Resort one. And this is, this is wave two, I believe. I opened some of wave one. I can't remember if I did it for a video or if I just opened them on my own, but this is what we can get. I kind of want the trash can from Mermaid Lagoon because that would be cool. And there is a secret one. Toontown lamppost, little green alien. Genie Carousel from Disney Sea, and then the playing card from Queen Hearts. I think it's in another bag. Oh nope, it's in a clear bag. And I got Genie. There we go. Oh, that's cute. It's a little carousel genie. And it seems to be made very well. I approve. Let's open the gotcha next. So you can kind of see what it is. It is a miniature tissue box. I'm going to show you guys the pamphlet. It's a really cool series. So this is called the Paper 3 Soft Tissue. And it comes with a roll of paper. And it's just a fun little sheet of paper you can pull out. But the one that I really, really wanted was the toilet paper because that's, that's just a lot more fun than having a box of tissues. They even had refills. Let's open the Coonuts next because I'm actually most excited about these guys. Let's open the Disney one first. Looks like we have Nick and Judy. And Pooh Bear characters. They have so many different waves of these out now. It's crazy. I can't keep up with them. Today we got Simba? Simba, right? I'm gonna say that's Simba. And basically they do that. I think they're called Coo Nuts because they're shaped like peanuts. Not sure what the Koo stands for. I think we've had this conversation before. Let me open the Pokemon one. I've never opened a Pokemon one before. I hope I get Eevee. Oh, Ditto's cute too, though. Pikachu, any of the starters, actually. Where is it? Here it is. Nope, it's stuck. Oh, there's a checklist, too. That's cool. Oh, who is that? Is that Squirtle? Nope, it is Bulbasaur. Oh, that's cute. Look at him. It's kind of weird seeing him like that. Okay, so we have those two guys. I'll have to find my other ones and we'll just kind of have to wobble them all together. <laughs> Last but not least, some die cut stickers. And like I said, these were from the Pokemon Center. And I want to say they were about 150 yen each. They were not expensive. I really wish I'd gotten more because the designs here are really, really cute. I'm hoping they're going to be huge stickers. They'd look really good on my suitcase. It says the sticker is 135 by 120 millimeters, so that's pretty big. Oh, here it is. Oh wow, it is big. Comes with a piece of gum. I'm assuming this gum is not gonna be that good. Eevee, pocket monsters. Oh, and then you get a little info card about Eevee. Eevee, 6.5 kilograms, 0 0.3 meters. Actually, this gum smells really good. Oh, these are so cute. I really, really regret not getting more of these. 
I hope we get Pikachu or Mimikyu. Oh, the Pikachu and Eevee one too. Okay, are we ready? Da -da! Oh, it's the Mimikyu! Wait, these are so cute. I'm sorry, I can't stop seeing it. They're so vibrant and pretty. I love the designs. Oh my gosh, guys, if you see these, let me know if you're in Japan, anywhere. I need more of these. I wish they made these for Disney characters. Hey guys, I asked you on Twitter what you would like to see and you guys voted for a magical blind box video, so here I am. And if you're not already following me on Twitter, please do. I ask you guys a lot of questions and we have a lot of fun. So, I'm at Studio Lorian. Follow me if you have an account. And if you don't, maybe make one and follow me. But anyway, there are a few things that I personally want to open today. I got these Gunetama magnets and I have a few of them, so I think I'm going to open all of them. Actually, I can't find the third one, so we're gonna open two. And what happened is, I actually tipped this box over a few days ago, so everything got shuffled up really nicely, so that's probably a good thing. Let's see, I have these Your Name blind bags that I got on sale at my supermarket for like 100 yen, so I think there's like five or six of these in here, so I'm gonna grab two. I wanna open this pin blind box that my friend sent me. This is from Pandora, I believe, the new area at Walt Disney World in Animal Kingdom, I think, so let's open that. Oh, I wanna open one of these. These also came from my friend, and they're called Woodsies, and they kinda remind me of Sylvanian families, so let's grab one of these. I think there's a lot of these in here. How about two of these Puripara blind bags, because you guys have been requesting Puripara stuff. Here we go, kind of a random assortment, but we have some anime, some Sanrio, more anime, actually a lot of anime, and then the pin blind box. I'm really curious about this. Let's open this one first. How many of you have been to Walt Disney World? I went when I was 10 or 11. We went to Magic Kingdom for one day and I don't remember much about it except that my grandma got lost during the fireworks and she was very upset. But other than that, I don't remember too much. <laughs> anyway, I obviously have never been to Pandora and I've actually never seen Avatar, so I'm thinking I need to check that out. Here's the lineup of the pins. They all look pretty fancy. Um, I really don't know what I prefer or want, so let's just open them up. Looks like there are two pins in here. Let's open this one first. And this one is... Ta-da! Let me look at it. Environmental Explorer Pandora. My friends actually sent Mr. Panda a bag from Pandora. And it's really cool. Maybe I'll put these pins on his bag. Again, I have photos of the bag on my Twitter, so if you want to see that, follow me! And here's the second one. Where is the camera focusing? There we go. It says Drum Circle, Pandora, Valley of Mo Moara? Probably saying that wrong. Probably should watch the movie. But here are my two Pandora pins. Thank you very much, Daisy, for sending these to me. I love getting merch from the different Disney parks. It's so much fun. Next, let's open one of these Gudetama blind bags. Now, this is kind of a funny story. Again, it's Twitter related. I saw someone tweeting about these and Sukiya is a fast food, I guess you guys call it beef bowl. We call it gyudon here and I guess that's the same thing. But anyway, it's um, beef on rice. And this is their happy set kind of thing, you know, the kids meal. And I saw a photo of it, and it was Gudetama themed, so I decided that we had to get a few. Now the lineup is Gudetama on different types of rice bowls, um, some onions, some tuna, and the beef bowl, and then there's a secret one, so I think I have three or four of these, but today we're going to open two, so we'll see what I get. Oh, this looks like the standard beef bowl. The magnet's on the back here, so I thought it was gonna stick to the fridge, like, you know, the bottom of the bowl, but it's the side of the bowl, so it'll stick like that. That's pretty cool. There it is, it says Sukiya. I don't know if you have Sukiya in your country. It is a very popular, very common beef bowl place here in Japan. They have good curry and salads too, so I go a lot. It's really cheap too. Let's check the second one out. Oh no, I think it's a double. Oh no, it's different! Yes, it's just the bowl is the same color. It says Sukiya. And it looks like it is onion. Whatever it is, it has plenty of onion. And then Gudetama sitting in his shell. He looks kind of stuck. Okay then, moving on. Let's see, I have a Puripara Jewel blind bag here. And we opened one of these a few 
episodes ago. This is the little jewel that you can use with the arcade game. I'm assuming you can use it with different Pretty Pada toys. They usually have them linked up. And this comes with a tomochike and a little chart. So there are all the jewels you can get. Here is Non. She is Lala's little sister. Oh, this costume, I think I've seen before, it was in one of the gummy blind bags. So you can have Non wearing a matching outfit. Here's the jewel. Let's see who that is. Let me look. Oh, it's Lala no Papa. So it's Lala and Non's dad. Interesting. This is an Age Age item, I think, so it just kind of boosts your cord and points and stuff, I believe. And then this is a gummy blind bag. This is volume 12. Let's open it up and see what I get. You guys have been requesting Puripara stuff a lot, so I went to the store and I tried to get some more of these, but they're out of stock, so I think I'm just going to need to wait until the next wave comes out. But I, I do see your guys' comments, don't worry. I do want to do more Puripara videos. I do have a question though, do you like Puripara or Aikatsu better? Because I feel like the Aikatsu trend is kind of dying in Japan and other countries as well, so let me know. Here is today's card. It's Shion! And they are shoes. Oh, this outfit's really cute. It's kind of like a sailor outfit. There is the full outfit. It is adorable. I don't think I've seen this one before. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more from this outfit sooner or later. But there is that one. Give this video a like. Actually, a comment would be great if you want to see more Pretty Pada stuff because when I upload videos, I feel like sometimes they're not maybe quite as popular. So if you guys like Pretty Pada, if you could share my Pretty Pada videos, that would be awesome and I will definitely make more. Finally, why did they put the sticker right on their faces? <laughs> but here is the Kimi no Nawa, or your name. Um, these are postcards. And this was a very, very popular anime movie that came out last summer, I wanna say about a year ago. And I think it's actually pretty popular outside of Japan now too. They have dubbed it and I've heard a lot of you guys saying that you really like it. Gum. Da -da. Oh, this is the, I'm, try, I'm gonna try not to give too many spoilers, the co-worker, the main character, meets. I'm not gonna say anymore. Here's the back, it has little clips from the little shots from the movie, and you can write your address, maybe a little message. For me, this is perfect because you guys know I collect postcards, which reminds me, send me postcards, guys. My P.O. Box address is in the description box. You guys don't need to send me packages or gifts, but I would love to get a postcard from your country or your city because I love collecting them. And here is the second one. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place today. Anyway, there's the gum. And, ta -da! Oh, 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 do you know who this is? I really like the designs on the back. I love the ribbon and what it means in the movie. I don't want to give too many spoilers because this movie is still kind of new, but if you like anime at all, check it out. I'm sure you can find it online or I know it's coming out on Blu-ray here in Japan, so I'm assuming you'll have access to it somehow. But yeah, watch it. It is really good. Anyway, today was kind of random. The Kimi no Nawa postcards. Shion, actually pretty pada stuff. Kuretama! These are adorable! I'm gonna take some cute photos to put on my Instagram, which you guys should also follow. It's at Studio Lorian. I'm at Studio Lorian on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, my Pandora pin. So I had a little bit of everything today Disney, Sanrio, Idols, and anime. I hope you guys enjoyed, and do let me know if you would like to see more Puripara or Aikatsu stuff, and you know, which you prefer, and what else you'd like to see in future Magical Blind Box videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Um, so I just said bye, but I realized I didn't open this guy, so let's open this guy, and then I'll say goodbye again. And also, thank you if you stuck around to the end to see this. You are a true... I don't have a name for you guys. Lorian Watcher. I don't know. Also, I know it confuses you because all my channels are named Lorian. My name's Abby, and Lorian actually is my puppy dog. Anyway, let's check this out. Oh, they're so cute! So, I had never heard of these before. My friend sent me a bunch of these, and I can't wait to open them all. They're gonna be, oh my goodness, look at the panda. They're gonna be so cute all together. Like I said, they remind me of Sylvanian families or calico critters. Oh, they're little bobbleheads! Look at that. I think this is a skunk or a badger maybe. This is Sadie's 
skunk. So it is a skunk. Oh, the head turns. So cute. I love it. Hey guys, you requested to see another magical blind box. So here I am. And I did check the comments of the previous video. So I'm going to grab this Monsters Inc. one because apparently I've been skipping over it forever. I'm going to grab this Aikatsu one. And... I think we had some requests for the Disney keychains. I'm only going to do this one though. And let's do one of the Pooh Bear ones. That's four. Let's do one of the Lumetier wands. We haven't opened one of these in a while. And I believe there's a new series out already. How about some of these Lirakuma stickers? And still some of these in here. Let's do another one of the secret collection straps. Today's selection looks pretty fun. Let's start with the Aikatsu card. If you guys are subscribed to this channel and follow along, you'll know that I am kind of obsessed with the gummy blind bags right now. I opened some Puripala ones, some Disney Magic Castle ones, and you've been requesting some Aikatsu ones. So maybe the next wave, I'll try to get a full box and do a video on that. Let me know if that would be interesting to you guys. This is from New Stage. I think this is the newest wave of blind bag gummies, and... It's called the Sweet Memory Pleats, and I was caught up until they started the new Venus arc, so I need to rewatch and catch up. Oh, and on the back side, it looks like they have custom parts for your avatar, so this is uh, eye color. That's really cool. That's fun. And of course, here's the gummy. Let's see what flavor this is. It is grape flavor. Ooh, I love grape gummies. Okay, that's cool. It is more fun to open a bunch of them all at once, though, because you can try to get full outfits. Anyway. Let's open the secret collection, and who do I want? At this point, I know I have Perry and Stitch. I feel like I have Pluto, Snow White, Dumbo. I really want Pink Pascal. We shall see who I get. It's kind of fun to open these now because they're totally unavailable. I feel like I'm opening something rare. Is that Dumbo? It is! Now, I think I need to do a secret collection, you know, the Disney Strap collection, uh, collection video because at this point, I have a case full of these guys and I don't know who I have, so give this video a thumbs up if you would be interested in seeing that. Since we're opening the secret straps, let's open the Pooh Bear one. We have Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, Roo, Piglet, and Christopher Robin. Now, I'm not really interested in getting Christopher Robin, but, you know, that'd be okay. Oh, it feels tiny. Could this be Piglet? Oh, it's Pooh Bear. Oh, whoa, this is tiny. Is this my first time opening one of these? I kind of feel like it is. I feel silly asking you guys, but you guys definitely remember more about my videos than I do. I thought it was going to be more like one of these straps, kind of a flat back, but it is a 3D charm, and this is really cool, actually. I really like this style. So I have Pooh Bear. I feel like this is the first one I've opened because I feel really surprised. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open the lunchbox set. We have the different characters, Baymax, Donald, Stitch, Pluto. I really want the Stitch Burger. And then we have Alien. One of you guys said this is probably Mochi. And I think you're right, it's probably like a Sakura Mochi. And then Rice Ball, Pluto, Chippendale. So, I have opened one of these before. And as always, I don't remember, so. <laughs> Let's just open it up. I feel like my memory didn't always used to be this bad, but anyway. Maybe I'm getting old. Cha -cha! It is Donald, my favorite character. And obviously it is a boiled egg. Look at how they cut a wedge out of it to look like his beak. I wonder if I could make an egg like this. I would have to use like colored saran wrap or something because I don't think there's food that color. Maybe seaweed, but that's black. Anyway, these are really cool. The quality is really nice. I haven't gotten any of the recent blind boxes because I didn't really like the style they were in. They kind of had weird capes and stuff for like rainy day stuff and I don't know. If I find some cute ones again, I'll definitely get them. But here are the three I got from the Disney store today. Next, let's open the Lumetier. What is it called? Lumetier stick. And they have been making so many of these lately. They have the little charms. And there's a new wave of the wands that look really cool. I saw them at the Tokyo Toy Show, which is another video I need to make. 
so many videos. It's purple, my favorite color. This one is really, really pretty. Look at that, and then it has wings on the back. I adore this. And then here's the little pieces. Let's see if I can get these out without losing them. Here's the first little piece. Where does this go? Let's put it up top here. No, let's put it here. There. And we have this little tiny piece. It can go here. Oh, that's cool. For me, they honestly have no purpose other than looking cute, but that's good enough for me. Finally, we have the Campus Life Rement. And this is super, super old. I got it on sale for 191 yen. That's a weird price, but I got it on sale. So it has been sitting in here forever. I think I only have this one, so we'll see what I get. I hope it's something food related or are they all food related? No, they're not. So I want something food related. Ja, ja, ja. Oh, I think it's food. Oh, it is. Look at the little taco. Okay, let me open this up. I wish they made more Disney Remen sets. These are so cute. Oh, this is a cafeteria tray from Monsters U. So here is the Mike Wazowski bun. We have actually something really similar to this at Disneyland. It's a melon bread. So that's kind of cool. And then we have a little taco. And what does this say? Monster fruit jelly, a carton of milk. It says monster scare milk and a small fork and spoon with a little pointy edge. Oh, I see why, because it's a monster. I kind of want the full set now, but I don't know where I could get it. This is so old, I'm sure. It says 2013 on the bottom, so this is pretty old. A lot of you have been requesting remints, and I pre-ordered a few new sets. I want to say a month or two ago, so they should be coming soon, and I'll be doing opening videos here. So if you like remints, please subscribe. And if you just like blind boxes in general, please subscribe. Here are all the goodies I got today. I got a cart too. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Mine's definitely the little cafeteria tray we met. Hey guys, today I am back with a new magical blind box. There are a lot of remints in here and a lot of repeats. So I think we'll have a remint day maybe next time. Today I want to open this Shopkins and someone asked for the Sailor Moon one. So we'll do that. And what else is in here? Oh, let's do the Disney Store one. And My Little Pony. Hmm, how many is that? That's four. Let's do one or two more. Here is a Pretty Pala one since I am into anime idols right now. Let's grab that out. And how about one of these little acorns? I think they're called woodsies. And next time we'll do a remint episode. It looks like I'll need to replenish the magical blind box soon so we have a little more variety. It would mean a lot to me if you guys could share this video with your friends if you enjoy it because that really helps me out a lot and it helps me bring better content to you guys. So if you could post a link to this video, screenshots from your favorite part on any of your social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, that would mean so much to me. Tag me, I'm at Studio Lorian on Instagram and Twitter and would love to hear from you guys as well. So anyway, let's get into the opening. What should we start with? Let's open this one first. This is from the Disney store and it is a bento series here. We can look at the lineup real quick. I have opened these in past boxes, so I got Donald, I remember that. And then, did I get Mickey? I can't remember, but either way, I want the Stitch Burger. That's what I really, really want. Here it is, and how do I open this right here? Ja -ja it is. I think it's a Pluto, kind of like an omurice, omurice, onigiri, onigiri, that was very <laughs> not Japanese. I see rice on the inside. I'm assuming this is probably like an egg wrapping. It looks good, actually. The ears are little tiny sausages, wieners, as they call them here. It looks super cute. I do wish this was textured a little bit more, but it's still good. Next, let's check out the Sailor Moon Sebon Sta and this is actually pretty old. It's been in that box for a while now, but it's still gonna be cute. I think they came out with a new series actually, and I'll see if I can grab a few. Sebon Star also came out with a cute wand series, and I saw them at the supermarket. They are very, very cute. So this isn't fancy, but 
it's cute, and they sell these in the candy aisle of the supermarket for a few hundred yen. 100 yen, I think I got this one for. So, you know, they're just fun little things to collect. Meant for kids and fans. It looks like I got the Usagi charm. I think there are quite a few different designs. I did look it up on the website when it first came out. I mean, look at the box and see. And they also come in different colors as well. So that's pretty cool. But like I said, this is just plastic. It's cute. I would probably use this more as a bag charm than as a necklace. So I may find my older charms that I opened up and do that. Next, let's check out the My Little Pony bag. And I'm sorry if I don't sound as hyper as usual. I actually just woke up, which is why my voice sounds a little raspy or hoarse, but hoarse. Okay, that wasn't too funny. But anyway, let's open this one up. I haven't opened one of these in a while either. Ooh, she's purple. I love the color combination. Her cutie mark looks like a magic wand of some sort. Let's see what her name is. Da -da! It's backwards on my camera. Let me turn it over and look. Ribbon Wishes. Oh, that is the cutest name. Next, let's check out the Pudi Ticket from volume 12. You guys may know if you're subscribed to this channel, and if you're not, you really should because we have a lot of fun stuff going on. I have kind of gotten myself re-addicted to the Anime Idol and Card Dash. These, that's what these arcade games are called. Card Dash games. I've been playing Puripara, I Cut to Stars, and mainly Disney Magic Castle, and it's so much fun. Anyway, here is the card. The gummies, of course. It is Aloma with the skirt. It is a rare, and I believe I have the top to this that I opened in a previous video. Oh no, it's the accessory that I have, so I'm still missing the top, but that's cool. And it is Silky Heart. Whose brand is that? One of you guys will have to remind me. But I am caught up on the anime now, so I can keep up with the story. Next, let's open the little woodsies. And these are from my friend in America. I'm assuming they're American toys. I opened one a few episodes ago and they really remind me of little Sylvanian families. Caligo critters. Depends on what country you live in. It's interesting that they give them different names, but this is a Woodsies. And isn't this capsule the cutest? It's a little acorn. Here it is. Ja -ja! It's a little sheep lamb. Let me open it up. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to drop you on your head. Here is the little guy, he has a little bobble head. And the legs and arms and head are flocked, the body's plastic. And he has a little ice cream cone. So here is the lineup. I really want the panda. So this is Socks the Sheep. They are very cute socks. Do you guys remember who I got last time? I have the worst memory. Last one, the Shopkins Happy Places, and this is series one. I still have not opened any series two yet. They're not gonna come out in Japan for a while. We finally got the Hatchimals mini eggs, the blind eggs, and I wanna check them out, but Hatchimals are very popular in Japan as well, so we'll see if I can get my hands on some. Here we go, got that plastic off. Let's open this up, and it's a purple tile. What room is the purple tile? I see a face. What is that? Oh, something goes on there for sure. It looks like a basin. Oh, it's a kitty cat, I think. Maybe not. It, I saw the long tail on the back here. It looks like a basin full of bubbles. Let's open the next one and maybe we'll find out. Hmm, it's a bottle of something. Soap, bleach, and the last one. I bet this is what goes in the basin. It is super tiny, look at that. What? Oh, is it a little brush? Like a little scrubby brush? It has a tiny, tiny face. I'm assuming it goes like that. Let me look at the list. 143, a washing tub. 
And then 114 is a washing brush. And the bottle I got is detergent. So it's from the kitchen series, it looks like. That's pretty cool. And I love the shoppies, they're so cute. That brings us to the end of today's opening. We had quite an assortment. We had socks, the sheep, ribbon wishes. I remembered her name, guys. Pluto, these are so cute. I hope I can grab a few more and get that stitch burger. Sailor Moon necklace charm, happy blazes. And a Pudipata card. If you like Pudipata or Aikatsu, Disney Magic Castle, please check out my other videos. I'll put a link down below and up above. And I also have a blog that I update with my idol activities and would love it if you would check it out. Anyway, that was today's magical blind box. If you have requests for future blind boxes that you want me to open, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys could share this video with your friends, that would mean so, so much to me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.